Hey guys, and welcome to Griezmann to Glory episode... I don't know if I'm going to make this episode 4 or 5. I have lost count. I don't know what episode we're on. But today, this is probably going to be the biggest episode that we have done so far. And you'll see for why in a minute. Okay, so wasting no time, we're just going to get into what the meat of the episode is. Okay, so you remember how the last episode we just upgraded the team a little? And this is the team that we're at now. Wait till you see where we're, where we're at right now. So first and foremost, the first actions that we have to do in order to make sure that this team still has 100 gem is swap Fabregas, Gdogbia, Lacazette and Griezmann, and Aspi Batra. So that's the first things that we change. So you can notice how our team's at 89 and 101 chemistry now. Well, I found another way to upgrade the team massively. So the first thing is we swap out our good old Seamus Coleman who's been here since the very beginning since he came out in Team of the League I think you want to say like 17 so we've had him since then so we swap him out for Audrey Zola, who's a massive upgrade and instantly becomes our second highest rated player with 96 defending uh, 69 low physical and 89 pace and good dribbling so that instantly brings us up to 90 rated but only 112 chemistry so it actually play like our old squad effectively since it's basically the same rating and a little bit less chem so then the second thing we did is again we took away one of our old pals you'll see there and we got uh, Usman Dembele who has some pretty good stats to be fair five star weak foot hold on let me lock him real quick five star weak foot uh, four star skills, unfortunately, but that's on the console. Uh, 84 finishing, 90 shot power, 97 sprint speed, and 98 acceleration. Some pretty good technical stats there. And he has the roulette, so we finally got like another player with the roulette. So now the second upgrade that we need to do is we needed to get rid of Jose Gaia, and we this is probably technically a downgrade, but we got Marcus Alonso, but he's he's just there for the chemistry. So for left wing, or actually let's go center mid first. So for center mid, we got uh, Nabi Kaita, who has a ch uh, Chinese card, right? I don't know what this card this is. Uh, it doesn't say. But anyhow, so Nabi Kaita has some pretty good stats. 4 star weak foot, 95 dribbling, 88 passing. Uh, Lunar New Year, there you go. That's the name of the card. But okay, so the final two, so we had about at this point, we had... What is it? Uh, 1.5 million to spend to get two chemistry, right? So we, we could do one of two things. We could spend it all on a Prem left winger, or we could spend it on a decent ish left winger and an amazing striker. And so what we have done here is I have now got Leroy Sane instead of uh, Gonzalo Gale. And even though Guedes has been a good servant, uh, Sané is just Sané. I mean, come on, man. His 86 rated is like 295k, but his inform is like 700k. It makes no sense, even though his inform is like one rating less. Hang on, let me see if I can check here real quick. Yeah, so you can see here that he's, he's actually 800 something k. Hold up. He's actually 800 something K, and yeah, he's genuinely selling for 800 K despite his 86 rated, uh, his 86 rated, whatchamacallit, Team Hero, I think it is? So his 86 rated Team Heroes sells for like 295 K, so if any of you guys actually play this game, go and buy that card because he's an absolute bargain for a higher rating, so. And then, I know this is Griezmann the Glory, I know he's supposed to be our best player. But come on, man. We had 1.2 million coins. How do you not expect me to spend on somebody big to get Sergio Aguero? We now have a Team of the Year nominee. Well, we're going to need to... Well, he doesn't get any boost, actually. But, like, since he has, like, uh, an elite uh, boost. But it's Sergio Aguero at the end of the day. He has some mad stats. It doesn't really need the boost anyways. So, I mean, technically Griezmann is still our highest rated player, but... Yeah, he, he's 
in terms of just a base rating, Aguero's the highest rated player in the team now. So that's the team now. Our team just got exponentially better. Uh, so yeah, that's this episode for today. Uh, oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention this, but so we had like 1.1 million. So then I sold like half of the stuff that's in my club. So that, that brought us up to 2.5. We originally spent it instead of on Dembele, who I think is probably the better of the two players I'm about to mention, but. Instead of spending it on Dembele, we spent it on Gelson Mons, his 88 rated car that's like 2.5 mil. I'll pull it up right now. But it, it wasn't that good, like it wasn't that good of an investment if I'm being perfectly honest. It, it, it just, I don't think I, it would be worth it in hindsight. Maybe if I had like money to spend and I had like 6 mil coins or something like that. Maybe if I had yeah, this card. Basically, like Gelson Mons is just more of a B tech or let me just rephrase that Dembele is the poor man's Gelson Mons for this card he's basically the same rating or the same card if you added six to each of their card or to get ah, I'm screwing this up anyhow if they were both 88 rated Dembele would have better stats all around every single stat so take that for what you will so I thought it was better to get uh, about the same player for a quarter of the price so that's where we got that from so we had two and a half million we spent 700 of it on Dembele 400 on Adria Zola uh, I think 287 on Marcus Alonso uh, was it Kali 300 no 295 on Sané and of course 1.1 on Aguero and three no 410k on Nami Kaito. So, okay, now that's it. This has been the end of the episode. Uh, hope you guys like this. Hope you guys are actually watching this. I mean, I, I think five people watched the last episode. But anyhow, that's irrelevant. Uh, thank you guys for watching. God bless and have a good time.